really missing one of the finest things ever in the history of everness. Okay, thrust is happening. Let's see if this this nose can get lifted up. That's what I really want to have happen. Oh yes, there. Look at that. Now I need to shut these ones off. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do a roll in this. There we go. And then roll it over on its back. Look at it! It's like a dragon! Oh man. Uh, we're still losing more of the tail here. H how majestic is this thing, huh? This, this is stunning in so many ways. I am speechless at how awesome this thing is. I love the aerodynamics here. I love, oh, and we just keep losing wings. Uh, I should probably like roll out of this dive because that's not good. Oh, and we lost another pair. <laughs> I'd better get this over dry land soon before we lose anything anymore. Oh, I'm trying to turn this, but it is not wanting to turn. Okay. Come on, you know you want to pull out of this dive here. It is having some serious hard trouble. Okay, I really try to turn. At least, at least we're G positive again. Now let's try turning. I'm trying to do this over the land because I'm hoping that land will be a little easier to land on. <laughs> the good news is that we haven't lost any more uh, wings. You know what? We should pull in our gear for uh, aerodynamic reasons. I mean, one of the nice things is actually all these little winglets here are probably keeping us more stable than we would otherwise be. I like it. I like this. <laughs> oh, man. Jebediah Kermit, of course, is loving this. I wonder, can I do... Hold on. Chase... Locked camera there, so we can see the trail, the tail in all its majesty. Look at it. It's just like a giant space sperm. Except it's not. Yet yeah, winter has come. <laughs> yeah. SpaceX with their giant uh, dragon capsule, they don't know what they're missing here. I was pointing out that SpaceX, they need to rig up their capsule so that when the door gets opened, and the astronauts go into it to start unloading, it should start playing the theme tune to Enter the Dragon. What do you think? No? Yeah, Enter the Dragon? Come on, seriously. That's even better than the I'm on a boat song, right? Da da na na, na 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 na, la da 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 da. Yeah, uh, Enter the Dragon theme tune is one of the finest bits of uh, movie soundtrack ever. Okay, I don't know how to control this thing, but it's going to start falling from the sky soon enough, I'll bet you. I just can't... Yeah, I'm going to do this to get its nose down. Yeah, it's actually su flying surprisingly well, considering all it has is these two, um, these two wings here. Maybe I'll try doing a fly past of the tower. Why? Because I can. Add decouplers? No, no, we're, we're not going to decouple anything here. This is this is here for a good reason. It's actually more controllable now I've throttled this thing back, I have to say. How do you fix a plane that becomes unstable wobble? 
It's really hard, like, so wobbling with SAS is one of those hard black magic things, so any wobbling that happens with SAS enabled is because the PID controller isn't tuned correctly, and and it's like the Kerbal controllers, they've picked what seem to be good values, but honestly, they're not perfect for everything, and it's quite often that you will find... Uh, a plane that's terribly tuned. If you find it wobbling, a good idea is to adjust the sensitivity of some of your control surfaces. That's a good one. Um, but it's it can be dangerous because if you adjust the, the sensitivity, you can suddenly find that you have a completely unflyable aircraft. Yeah, look, we're still flying here. 50% thrust pulling everything along. Yeah, let's do a victory roll here. Oh, wow, look at that. I like it, the spiral and everything. Yeah, baby. Look at that. That is styling. Oh, probably should pull out of this dive. Uh, okay. And that is some really interesting graphics glitches I saw there, just as we were crashing. 